Hi everyone, it's Sabi from Code Tigers. Today we are making a game called Bullseye. So what is Bullseye? Bullseye is the center of a target. Hit it to score the maximum points. Let me show you what I created. I'll click on the green flag to run this project. And you can see that there is a moving crosshair which moves all around the target. As soon as it touches the center of the screen, I will have to press the space key so that it stops like this. Let's try that again and see if it works. So whenever I press the uh, whenever I press the space key, it shrinks, and you also know that the closer we hit to the center of the screen, the more we score. We can break the creating of this program into few simple steps. First is to make the crosshair move when the green flag is clicked. Second step is when the space key is pressed, the crosshair has to stop moving and land on whichever part it was on. Thirdly, we have to give points at whichever color the crosshair lands on. The fourth step is to keep a track of score. You can also add some add-ons. Let's get started. After you click, the create button this screen appears and the cat is the default character but we don't need the cat in this project that's why we click on the trash can right above the cat and we'll hover over the choose sprite option and click on paint after that we'll select the line and we We'll select the gray color and I'll change the thickness to be good. I think 12 is fine. Then I draw a line which is vertical. And then I'll select the same line and then copy the, that same line and then paste it. I'm doing this so that my line. Uh, does not have any different kind of length. I think that looks more like crosshair. But after this, we also need to create a target. That's why I'll hover over the choose a backdrop and click on paint. I delete backdrop one because I don't need that. And to paint a target, I'll choose the circle. And I fill it with green color, and the out and the outline would be of length three, I think, of black color. So I draw my circle. Then I select the same circle, copy it, and then paste it. I'll change its size to be a bit small. I'll change its color to be black. I want it to be a bit more small. Yes, that's what I like. And after this, I'll copy the black circle and then paste it. And the other color which I'm going to be choosing is blue. And I'll reduce its size to a bit One. Yes. After that, I'll copy and paste blue. I'll change its color to be red. I'll reduce its size a bit more. And after that, I'll copy and paste the red circle as well. And this is the last circle which we're going to be creating. Let's make it spread. It's going to be of yellow color. I want my game to be a bit more hard. That's why I'm going to add another circle. So I copy this and paste this. And change its color. More. 
Yes, now that looks like perfect circle. Now let us move to my favorite part of programming, coding. We go to the events, we drag out the when green flag picture, and then we drag out the broadcast message picture and change it to URL. Then we drag out the when I receive message picture and change it to URL. Why I'm choosing the broadcast instead of straight away writing the code beneath the when green flag picture is that I can repeat broadcast as many times as I but I can't repeat the code beneath when green flag like as many times as I want. So we go to motion, we drag out the Google Drive, and we change its values to 150x and 150y. After that, after that, we set size 200%. So we go to looks and we set size 200%. Now we want it to move anywhere in the screen randomly. So we drag out the forever block. We drag out the light block and we change it to 0 0.5 seconds. After this, we go to operators. We drag out two quick random blocks. We change it to minus 150 and 150 and negative 150 for pi 2. And call the one. After this, let's see what happens. When we click on green flag, it sets its size to 200% and it randomly moves anywhere in the screen. Now, let us move on to a step two, which is stopping the crosshair when the space key is pressed. So, we drag out the space when space key is pressed from the events, and then we go to control and we drag out the stop all. Instead of stop all, we change it to other steps in the sprite. After that, we repeat, go to control and we drag out and repeat and change its value from 39. And then we go to looks, we drag out the change size by 4 and we change its value to minus 5. So you might have noticed. When something moves forward, it shrinks. So this crosshair is basically an arrow, which when we press the space key, we release that arrow. And what repeat 39 times and change the size by minus 5 does is that it reduces its volume to the minimum, or it basically shrinks. After this, we need to give points for every color it is touching. So you go to if then, then we go to sensing and we drag out the touching color. Now we go to color picker and then first color I is this one. And then I go to looks, drag out the save now and change its value to and Write down 250 points in. I also want to make a variable score which keeps tracks, which keeps track of all the scores. So I set score to zero, and I also want to make another variable called shots, which basically determines how many shots the user has achieved to get that score. So I drag out the shots and I set the shots to zero to as well. After that, I drag out to change my variable. I change one to drop down to shots and another to score. So one way of doing this for every color is dragging out and if then the uh, loop and then adding uh, this touching color, then say, then change and then change, uh, change variable score and then change variable shots. But another way is just right clicking on that, click on duplicate and put it beneath it. 
Let's see how many colors we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six colors, so we need two more. We can get that. Now we only have to change the values. So now I'm going to change this value to 200. Change score by 200. And shots would be same for everyone because it takes only one shot to achieve that score. And what score does is that it I like suppose that your original score is 500 using three shots. So whatever the score is already, and let's say you hit on that, which gives you 50 points. So it adds 50 to 500, which is going to be 550. Write the code for red now. And now for blue, which is going to be points. And change for one is going to be for black, and the last one is going to be for white. The last color is going to be white. We don't want to give any color for black because it's basically the stand. So we do white. Change its color here. So now, why we didn't add any outline to this? Let me tell you. Let's suppose we added a black outline to every color. So there is a possibility that it landed in between blue and red. So black color is between blue and red. Then it would give the red's point and the black color's point. With this, our game is done. I hope you all had an amazing time with me creating this wonderful game. I will see you next time. Another week with another awesome project. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.